Hello, my name is Kenneth, and uh, this is going to be a tutorial, uh, an AutoCAD tutorial for interior designers to help them with space planning. And let me show you what's going on here. I've got just a general outline of a space, and I want to divide it up into uh, three offices that are 200 square feet, and maybe an, an additional space that's 300 square feet, and what I've got is a 12 foot corridor. So, uh, I'm going to show you, I've got some blocks already made, so I'm going to pull this 200 square foot block in, and I'm going to drop it, and it doesn't quite fit, so I'm just going to pull down on this guy, and stretch it out, and now it fits, and it's still 200 square feet, that rectangle. It's 200 square feet still, even though I stretched one side of it, because it has uh, constraints, uh, constraint parameters applied to it, and that's really what this video is about. I'm going to show you how to make one of these in just a moment, but let me show you more about how it works. And I okay, can just easily divide out that space and grab a 300 square foot room. Everything fits neatly because I prepared this ahead of time. So let me show you what's going on with these blocks. Let's uh, let's make a block here. First, I'm gonna find my origin. So what I'm going to do is just make a rectangle, start from the origin, and I'm going to hit A for area, and I'm going to want to make this, let's say, 100 square feet, and one side of it is going to be 10 feet, there's my rectangle that's 100 square feet, and just throw this text in here using the uh, shift right click to pick between two midpoints or between two endpoints rather that way the text is nice and centered on there and I'm going to turn this into a block I'm going to give it a simple name and I've already made this block so we'll just call it the second one so here is uh, the block editor, and all these things up here come out on your ribbon automatically. You automatically get a set of uh, uh, dynamic block inputs, parameters, actions, constraints, that sort of thing. So I'm just going to grab this rectangle that is 100 square feet in area, and I'm going to auto constrain it, and we're going to hit the linear uh, under the dimensional tab, I'm going to go to linear, you know, pick uh, one side of it, doesn't matter what it is. I'm going to hit uh, the other side, and this is where we put in uh, an expression. So this side, D2, is equal to 100 square feet divided by D1. That is what is going to give us this functionality. I'm going to add one more parameter <clears throat> just for the text. And that's just going to allow me to move the text around. I drew this uh, <clears throat> diagonal line across uh, the two endpoints uh, rather than using the shift click and uh, uh, between two endpoints and uh, the reason is is that you don't want to uh, associate uh, this text with one of these corners because these corners are going to change as you stretch this box and so that's pretty much it and here we are I'm going to stretch that 
and I can move this text hit between two midpoints there we go and uh, one thing that I forgot to mention <clears throat> is that I am uh, in a unitless drawing so I am not actually showing 100 square feet <clears throat> I'm showing 100 square inches so I'm just going to scale this up by 12 and then you can see there, um, that even though I've changed this if I do an area command I can quickly find out that it is in fact 100 square feet so I hope this helps you in your space planning for laying out spaces next to corridors and um, doing block diagrams and that sort of thing. Thank you.